What pattern? My great-grandmother's quilt pattern. I thought I had it in this basket, but now I can't find it. Hey, what's this for? Teeny weeny bikini? No, <laughs> <laughs> silly. They're pieces for a quilt I'm making, but now I can't find the pattern. Maybe I'll make my own pattern. Hey, Lise, that's a good idea. Yeah. Three, two, one. Coach, uh, today we're going to talk about patterns. Oh, we know all about patterns. Sure. Uh, sound patterns. La, 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 la. That's la, right, and there's la, dance patterns. La, 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 hey, la, yeah. La, 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 Look, is this flow show over? We got to get back into patterns. You know, basketball. Oh, oh those, those patterns. patterns. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, there's all kinds of patterns, Coach. You got to be more specific. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Go on out then show it. This yeah. goes. Oh, it. It. Do it with fluid. Ah. Yeah. Put a deal on them. Come on. Now, how am I going to make up a pattern? There are all kinds of patterns around here. The way the lockers are organized, the spiral of the staircase. Well, I could take my inspiration from nature, like a lot of other great artists. Hey, Treen, look at this spiral pattern. Look at this one. How many grooves do you think a record has? A lot. Nope, just one. It's a spiral, too. And there's just one path going from the outside of the record to the inside. The needle rides the groove. Now, that's a real spin-off from nature. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The spiral pattern is repeated in everything throughout nature, from shells to galaxies. <laughs> why there are so many spirals in nature? No, but some spirals, like many other patterns, develop out of the way things grow. It's easy to add on to a spiral. There's almost no limit to how small or how large a spiral can be. Now here's a common garden spiral. like many other patterns, are shaped by forces. Take whirlpools. Looks like water going down a huge bathtub drain. That's just what it's like. As the water moves towards the center, it spins faster. And this forces it into a spiral pattern. How about hurricanes with their column of hot air spiraling around the center? Is that a real hurricane? Yep. And it's a safety from a satellite. Here's a mean spiral, a tornado. I wouldn't want to get in the way of all that force. Spiral galaxies exist throughout the universe. Our own galaxies are spiral. Of course, nobody's ever seen a galaxy form. No, but computer animation can give us an idea of how it might happen. 
Just think of the forces that must be at work, giving shape to a collection of billions of stars. There are patterns in time, too, like the tides. The force of the moon's gravity pulls on the water, making high and low tides twice a day. In the Bay of Fundy in Nova Scotia, the difference between high and low tide is 50 feet or more. All living things in this community have to adjust the pattern of their lives to the daily pattern of the tides. Don't forget the 24-hour day, marked by the sun's rising and setting. For thousands of years, people used natural patterns, like the regular movements of the sun and the moon, to order their lives. We still do. Most of us work or go to school during the day, and we sleep at night. Then there's the pattern of the changing seasons. The seasons tick away like a biological clock, telling plants when to bloom and bear fruit, awakening hibernating animals, and signaling others when to mate or migrate. patterns for granted, but we carry them inside us. They're the internal clocks that order our lives in many ways we don't yet understand. So there are all kinds of patterns. And patterns you can see. Patterns of time. Patterns you can hear. But not one to help me design my quilt. I need to find a way to put the pieces together in an orderly arrangement. Come on over here, and I'll show you a great example of order growing out of this order. Crystals. What are crystals, really? Yeah. Well, they're solids that have very regular patterns. And ice cubes are just crystals of water. You see, in a liquid, the tiny particles called molecules can move all over the place. They're loose. You mean they're not ordered, they're disordered, like my quilt pieces. Right. But when the molecules get closer together, they link up to each other. Then they form solid crystals. I'll show you another example. This stuff is water with a chemical called sodium acetate dissolved in it. What's sodium acetate? It's a chemical used in dyes. Now watch what happens when I put a little bit more of the same stuff in it. Wow, wow look, look at, at that. that. Go. That's really neat, Mark. You see? Now all the molecules are linked up together in an orderly pattern. A lot of substances form crystals, and each has its very own pattern. You know, chemists sometimes can tell what a substance is just by looking at its crystals. This is quartz. This is wolfenite. These little cubes are salt crystals. You'd never know there were patterns in these grains of salt, would you? You sure wouldn't. It all depends on your point of view. Some patterns aren't visible to the naked eye. You can't see patterns up close. You have to move back. What's that? A cabbage. You know what this is? A painting. Sometimes you have to get really far away to see any patterns. Take a city at night. The farther away you move, the more your view of things changes. People can seem like ants.
telescopes and microscopes are great for seeing patterns, but I don't see anything I can use for my quilt. Well, maybe Judah Schwartz can help you. Who's Judah Schwartz? Oh, he's the professor who runs the computer workshop I go to on Saturdays. Well, how's a computer professor going to help me design a pattern for my quilt? Hey, guys. These are my friends, Lisa and Mark. This is Dr. Judah Short. Hi, how, how are you? How are you, Dr. Short? Yeah, call me Judah, okay? Okay. Oh, sure. Hey, is this the computer? Yeah, that's it. It looks like you've hooked up a typewriter to our television set. Yeah, well, it, it is a lot more than that. It yeah, is a computer, though. Yeah, can we plug it in here somewhere? Yeah, but you know we don't have any special uh, power lines around here. Oh, you don't need any. Any outlet will do. Here, Lisa, could you plug that in for me? You just me? plug it in? Yeah, that's right. Hey, you know, I always thought a computer filled up a whole room. Well, they used to, but they keep on getting smaller and smaller. Now, this one, for example, is just these two pieces. This is a console where you type in instructions to the computer, and this is a television set on which the computer displays what it's doing. Oh, I see. Well, can this computer do my homework for me? <laughs> no. <laughs> only if you figure out a set of instructions to teach it how to do your homework. You mean it can't do its thinking for it? No, it can't do it. It's just a machine. It's just a tool. It's a very good tool if you have to handle quickly and efficiently a lot of information. Yes, I mean, just imagine the millions of airline reservations made every year. That's a lot of numbers to keep track of. Yeah, and what about things like credit cards and paychecks? Mm -hmm. Or batting averages? Or sorting mail? You know, you sure couldn't make long distance phone calls if it wasn't for computers, right? Even detectives use computers to help solve crime. some of the orderly patterns that exist throughout the natural world. And we've discovered that sometimes the same pattern can be found in very different places. Uh, I have a dumb question to ask. No, no, no. Questions aren't dumb. Sometimes answers are dumb. You know, if people didn't ask questions, nobody would ever be able to figure anything out. That's right. Good point. <laughs> well, point. my question is, can this computer help me to design a pattern for my quilt? Now, that's a good question. Sure, computers can help design patterns, but first, you have to write a program. But well, what's a program? Yeah. Well, let me show you. Here is a program that I started to write. And the first instruction is going to print your name four times. Okay. And the second instruction is going to print Lisa's name four times. And then the third instruction is going to print Trini's name four times. Now, I'm going to try write one more instruction. I'll tell the computer that that's the end of the program. Right. And now I'll run that program. And that happens just by printing run now? That's right. Every time I write oh, run, that's, that's neat. exactly <laughs> really? what it does. You think that's neat? Watch this. <laughs> okay. What's Trini got up her sleeve? Four, go, go two, two, three. three. On the end. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> How'd she do that? Oh, it was pretty easy, actually. Maybe I'll show you someday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is really fun, but how's it going to help me with my quilt? Wait, let me show you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call up a program that I wrote yeah. that will put up patches like that. Yeah. Okay, now that's completely random, right? No mm -hmm. order, no mm -hmm. pattern. Now, suppose I take this mirror and I put it up right in there and you look in there. What do you see? And now there's a pattern. Same thing here and here. Yeah, but you did that with a mirror. Yes, I know, but you can write a program that will teach the computer how to do exactly that. Me? Yeah, you, all of you. I mean, that's what Trini's learning to do at our computer workshop yeah, on Saturday. Yeah, and it's a lot of fun, too. Really? Yeah. Hey, listen, I have to get to class now, but maybe Trini can help you. And you know what? Let me leave this computer here for a couple of days if you think it'll be safe, okay? Oh, it'll be safe. Great. This place stays locked up until we get here after school. All right, well, look, I'll see you on Wednesday, and I'll check back then, okay? Take Bye, care. Bye, Bye, Judah. Bye, Judah. Bye, 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 I guess the message is that regular patterns occur throughout nature, but we can design new ones ourselves. Yeah. Hey, listen, well, I got to be getting home, so I'll see you girls tomorrow, all right? Yeah, me too. Lee? Yeah? 
Hey, please. Yeah, in a minute. 321 Contact is a production of the Children's Television Workshop.